Welcome to Mr. Woods' Wonderful World of Art, and I'm Mr. Woods. And I know you're going to have an excellent time with this How to Draw video, because I'm going to show you how to draw an elephant. So gather up your drawing pencil, paper, choice of colors, and let's begin. Okay, to get started on our excellent elephant, we're going to start with the head. We're going to make a really large head, so it's going to come out, and this is the cheek, up to the top of the head. It's going to be curved around, and then you're looking at the left side, and you're matching that left side the best you can. Next, we're going to add in our trunk. So our trunk's going to be relatively large, and it's going to curve over on both sides, but gradually get closer together toward the end where we're going to have a nice size oval for the inside of the nose. We're going to show the nostril holes one and two and both of those are um, ovals as well. Now let's go ahead and connect our line to our trunk. Give a little bit of a curve here and that way we can add a little bit of a smile. Perfect. A line up here for the top of the trunk and two large eyes. They're going to be ovals. There's one, two. Awesome. Now we're going to put a circle inside of each one and then another one just for the pupils. That's going to be the colored part and the pupil is going to be another circle inside. Bam. Awesome. Now let's move on to the ears. So the ear is going to come up right above here, right above the eye. We're going to come out and then a little bit of a curve in, go down and right about to the cheek, attach it. Do the same thing on the other side. Curve in. Keep going down, 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 and then back and attach. So now we have two ears. Let's add some eyebrows. And they have to curve at the end. So I start, go up, curve, and then come back. Almost like a teardrop that's running horizontal. Add a few hairs at the top here. And then we're going to outline this to show the inside of the ear. Do the same thing on both sides, of course. It's like the mirror image. Whatever you do on the left, you're going to do on the right. A few little lines to add some, you know, interesting details. And I just did three on either side. Add some lines on the trunk. And they're going to be slightly curved. That's going to help just emphasize the trunk being round. Now let's add the body. My elephant is going to be sitting down. So I'm going to start a line. It's really close to the trunk. And it's going to curve out, stop, and then angle towards the corner of your paper. Now let's curve in and add a big oval for the bottom of the foot. And that's the back leg and it's going to come back up and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side only we're, we're going to stop before we go through the trunk and it would end about here so it's going to go out big oval back in the line now we need the front legs because we've created the back legs so we're going to bring the first one down and it's going to curve in and back up. Second one's going to do the same thing. Touch, curve, and then back up and stop. Now let's add some toenails. We're going to put three on the front feet. And they are just, just like an upside down U. One, two, one more three, one, two, and three. And you can see my toenails 
are pretty large. And on this other side, on, on the back legs, we're going to add four nails. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And let's finish up with the tail. Come out and up. Just parallel that line, it needs to go in the same direction. You get a little bit of a tail. So I like what I have. Now I'm going to go ahead and outline. I finished outlining, but I'm going to add a little spiral here on both of the back legs for kind of like texture of the knee. And it's just going to go around. There we go. Using my brush markers, I'm going to color the body with a cool gray, the inside of the eye with a light blue. I'm going to use this periwinkle for the bottom of the feet and maybe for some shading and possibly the eyebrows. The inside of the ears will be pink and also the tip of the nose. And I'm going to use this purple color, it's called Berry Berry, to add some shading here and there. I've completed drawing my elephant and he looks extravagant. When you're coloring, try overlapping and layering other colors. Add some shadows in there and just have fun. Happy drawing. Hey, my little drawing buddies. Thank you so much for joining me for another How to Draw video right here at Mr. Woods' Wonderful World of Art. When you start coloring in your elephant, Think about overlapping and layering your colors. You might even try adding some shadows, but most importantly, have fun. And remember, if anyone can do it, it's you.